Okay, in this video, we're going to um, show how to scan images with GIMP from the uh, flatbed scanner onto the hard drive. We've placed three pictures on our flatbed scanner, and we're going to uh, scan them onto the computer. Now. You notice when you start GIMP, two windows come up. You have uh, the toolbox window and the image manipulation program. So just move these around wherever it's comfortable for you, and uh, we'll get started. First, we click on File, Create, and then choose Scanner slash um, scanner slash um, camera now when we choose uh, scanner slash camera the con connected devices will show up in a dialog box in this case we only have one so we just click select and that's it otherwise you would have to select your particular um, device. At this, in this case, we've already scanned it, so we're just going to open the uh, the image we've already scanned and cut to the chase here. All right, we've sc got the image scanned. The scanner will automatically do it for you. So and this is what you're going to end up with anyhow. So the first thing we want to do, of course, we move it to a comfortable location on the screen. The first thing we want to do is go hold the control key and hit the letter C. Now that will copy the contents of this window so we can put it on another one. So we hold the control key and hit C. Next, click on File and then New. Now a dialog box comes up and tells us the size which is going to be the same size as the old one. So we just click OK or hit enter and that's fine. We've created a new blank window that we'll put our images on. So now we hold the control key and hit the letter V as in Victor. That will place the image on the new window. Now at this point we go over to the dialog box, I mean the toolbox, and we click on the crop icon. That puts us in the crop mode, okay? You see, we've, we've gone to the crop mode. All right, now then, we crop the first image by clicking on the upper left corner, pulling it down to the lower right corner. We can adjust these corners as we want. We can adjust the box, and, and then when we're finished, we just, oops. <laughs> when we're finished, we have the image cropped and uh, we, we only have the one image instead of the three. Now then we just click on File and then Save. And at this point we're going to create a new directory for these images. Now if it comes up like this just click on browse for new folders and it'll give you the larger screen. See that just toggles back and forth between uh, the small screen and the large screen that gives you the more options. Okay, so now that we've we've got the the large screen out there, click on create folder and type type in the name of the new folder, which in this case we're going to name it. Um, Marge. Now we've created a new directory named Marge. Once we hit enter, we'll see it on the list at the bottom. You see down at the bottom, er, right there in the middle, we see, or towards the bottom, we see Marge. Now we double click on that, open that directory. Now up at the top, we need to change the, the name of the file to Marge1. because we're going to have several images 
So Marge 1. And then we select the, the f file format or the image format, which in this case we're going to use JPG. It's, a, it's a, uh, an efficient one to use. So we've named it a name that's going to make sense to us because we're going to have more than one. We have Marge-01. Click on Save. And then this other dialog bo box comes up. You can either click on Export or just hit Enter. And then another box comes up. It says save. You just you can click on save or just hit enter, hit the enter key, and it's it's done. Okay. Now at this point, we're finished with this window. And we can close it. All right. We just close that window. We're back to the one we had before. Right. Now we just do the process over again. Repeat the process. File, new. And then the dialog box comes up and tells us the size of it, which is okay. It's the same size as before. And we have a new blank screen. Again, we hold the control key down, hit the letter V, and it dumps the entire image in there. Again, we're still in the crop mode, so we crop this one. Clicking on the upper left-hand corner, dragging down to the right corner. Once we have it just like we like it, Move the corners around until we have it just like we want it. Say we want to squeeze this one in a little bit. Just get that part right there. Okay. Click in the middle. We like it just fine like that. So we've saved the file. Click on File. And then Save As. And then it brings up our this big window again if it's if it's uh, the small window just click on browse for folders and it'll be it'll toggle to the large window and at this point we've already created our new directory we have the first one now if we just click on that first one it's going to dump the name of it in the in the window up above and we change the one to a two okay then we hit enter and we save it or we can click on save at the lower right hand corner or hit enter either one. Now export box comes up we can hit enter or just uh, click on export. Again the save box comes up we hit enter again and it's saved. Okay we've saved the second one. We can close this box now and repeat the process a third time. Click on file new Okay, we've got a blank blank one again. At this point, we co hold the control key, hit V. And we want to crop down to this last one. So we crop this one, adjust it like we want it. There we've got the image we want. We got it cropped. Now then we click on File. Save as. We're going to change the name to Marge03. Click on Save. Or just hit Enter. Again, we can hit Enter. Or click Export. And then when the Save box comes up, we again we can hit Enter or click on Save. Either one. And we're done. Now we've got this batch done. And if we want to, we can go on to the next and again click on Create, Scan, and s select your device. And you, you'll bring up the Scan dialog and you can scan the next, next batch after you've put in the, the new pictures in the scanner. Okay, hope this was clear enough. Uh, uh, and hope you can negotiate and operate GIMP with the greatest of ease now. Thank you for watching.